gifted children, the ones with the most potential in music, start out with brains that look structurally different. Ellen and Gottfried are tackling a question that has baffled scientists for a very long time, and it's still a bone of contention. Is it nature or nurture that makes a genius? and whimpered like an animal. Mark's first three years, I spoke to him in Cantonese exclusively. He did not learn how to speak English or another language until he started school when he was three years old. And I'm teaching him little by little Mandarin. That's why I made a right decision to teach him Cantonese in the very beginning. It's the hardest language to pick up later on in life. Stimulation is essential for a growing brain. By the time a baby is born, it has already done 12 weeks worth of listening. Very often a child's first memory is melody. When Mark's mother, Chloe, was a little girl, she really wanted to play the piano. But her parents followed Chinese tradition and lavished all musical education on her elder brother. So when Chloe was having Mark, she immersed him in the world of music to give him what she herself has denied. During my pregnancy, I would play the same piece over and over again, hoping that by the time when he was born, he could hum me a fifth symphony by Beethoven. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But uh, yeah, it actually happened when he, by the time when he started talking, he was humming the same symphonies that I've been playing to him since I was pregnant. Chloe certainly didn't waste any time with Mark's education. But is there actually any point in starting this early? something that upbringing cannot explain. I don't think that most three-year-olds would be able to do that, even if they were given the regimen of training that Mark had. That was not a typical child. Could it be that Mark inherited his gift? Is there a gene for genius? memory. Some people have this ability to remember from very early ages with precision exactly what frequencies sound like. They know that 440 sounds like that. But what blew me away was Chloe saying he's never studied it. Thank you. Jeff Bernstein, a distinguished musician, is intrigued to know just how good Mark's ear really is. To Mark, Identifying your musical note is as easy as naming a color. Only one in 10,000 people have this gift. Perfect pitch doesn't make you a musical genius, but it
it certainly helps. The talent in some musicians is so striking that to the casual observer, it looks like they must have inherited this gift in their genes. So is there such a thing as a gene for genius? Robert Perlman from King's College London is trying to find the genes that fuel intelligence. What we're basically doing is comparing identical and non-identical twins to ask how similar they are. So it's kind